Well, good morning, folks. We're out here in the barn this morning, so you'll have to bear with the unruly goat who's back there complaining that I haven't fed him yet this morning. Uh, just uh, trying to show you around here real quick. I have reattached this boot sole, as you saw in the previous video. Maybe you didn't see, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I've let them cure for a couple of days now, and I'm going to uh, put them through their paces here on the place this morning and see how it holds up. Uh, we'll have to check in on it periodically throughout the day and see if it can stand up to the kind of tasks that I need it to. <laughs> All right, for starters, uh, the goats are happy to see that I'm out here. And uh, you can kind of see here that we've got some, we got some typical uh, goat barn looking atmosphere that we've got to tromp around in and get these critters fed. So uh, the boots get dirty, they get contaminated. Half the time they're soggy by the time I go in. So this would be a good way to start out. Would you be quiet? I'm talking here. Yeah, you. That's Moon Pie. Hi, Moon Pie. Anyway, uh, well, we got a mob. Uh, I better hang this up and get these suckers fed and uh, we'll just kind of track it through the course of the day and see how well this boot holds up. Apparently somebody around here is not too good at picking up after their project so we're going to make that our first line of work and get things straightened up this morning. Man, this guy's got everything strung out from here to Jones's barn and he wonders why he can't find anything. I gotta get this stuff put up so that I can uh, tidy up the workshop and be productive today. All right, the first real order of business is uh, finishing up this. Uh, it's a very small doghouse. I say very small, it's a couple feet long, probably a blue healer sized doghouse that uh, my son and I were working on yesterday. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get the uh, gonna get the roof finished on that, and and uh, so he can carry on with it and and do as he will. And uh, just to kind of check in and an up update here is it's been about an hour and a half since I started this morning, and so far it looks like the sole is holding on well. No signs of separation. House is more or less done, and our boot is holding up pretty well. All right, so one of the fringe benefits of picking up after yourself is uh, you find things that you had misplaced. Now this particular set of sockets is nothing out of the ordinary, but if you notice, all of the pieces are there. And uh, the neat thing about this one is 19 years ago when I got married, my grandmother gave that to me as a wedding present. And it meant a lot to me and I've gone out of my way to ensure that I keep all the pieces to it. And there's been a time or two that I've had to replace things. And as you can see, what used to be the handle is now the hinge. But it's just one of those things that I try to take care of best I can. Been cleaning up some of the wood scrap debris and stuff from around the barn. Yeah, it's holding out. No issue so far. Helped a buddy of mine build a bench the other day. And so we planed down a bunch of rough cut cedar and got a lot of nice sawdust out of that. The chickens and the rabbits are going to love this stuff. It's great. Well, best I can figure, I've been at it for about three or four hours now. I've been raking up around the barn, trying to gather up leaves and branches and stuff that have fallen in the storm. Uh, we've had copperheads out here before and so I don't like having this kind of stuff around where people are wandering But I filled up that big wheelbarrow. Let's see if you can see it out there I filled it up about five or six times with uh, Stuff like this that I'm gonna torch off and So far it looks like to me the bottom's holding up pretty good. I don't see any areas where it's separating. Doing good. So if you're still watching at this point, thank you. That's all I can say about that. Uh, I know it's been a little bit uh, boring and mundane watching me tromp around and give you periodic updates on how the glue is holding together on the sole of my boot. Uh, so now I'm going to, yeah, hey, I'm talking here. 
Sorry about that. That rooster, he wants his share of the attention. Uh, I'm fixing to break into a project with my boy here in a minute, and hopefully that'll be gratifying and make work, watching this video worthwhile for you. I work on a project with my kid. He's, a, he's 14, and I'm introducing him to do uh, some woodwork. Uh, real quick, hey, times are times are tight right now. You know, there's, uh, there's a lot of people that are out of work and everything else, and uh, you got to look for a bargain where you can find one. And this this cedar picket came from Home Depot. I think the regular price on it's about three dollars. But uh, when I was down there the other day, I noticed a couple of them that were broken. I can see here this has got a big crack in it. So I brought it to their attention. They spray it with a little bit of purple paint, and then they mark it down 70%. So I got this picket out the door for about a dollar, which is a great deal. Well, there you have it, folks. Finished product. One uh, squirrel feeder. Yeah, I guess you could feed birds out of it, too, if you wanted to, or your children, if you felt the need. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that little woodworking project at the end, and thank you for uh, putting up with all of my annoying uh, boot durability updates, which uh, I'll post one more here while I'm at it. If, as you can see, it looks like it held up, folks. So, I'm glad. I like these boots. I'm going to keep them around for working here at the house. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Give me a like if you want or a comment. I always read them. Take care. God bless.